of you will have personal passwords on these phones. You might have a PIN number, pattern, or fingerprint lock. In this case, we've put on a pattern lock here. Now, more often than we'd like to, we sometimes forget that, you know, wh whatever these passwords are. This video is to show you what you can do when this happens. But, just as a warning, with a lot of these tips and tricks, um, these steps can be abused. So we're just providing this information for rightful owners of these devices when they're stuck. So you can see on the phone that we've customized it a bit. We've, changed, we've just changed the background here to just show that you know it's been used. Um, later on you'll see that uh, when, when we finish this little tutorial that it will show up as a brand new just freshly turned on phone. So we have this pattern here and we're going to try to unlock it. So let's say we just put in the wrong password a few times and you'll, you'll see that you're blocked here from you trying again for the next 30 seconds. You have this option here, the backup pin, but in more, more cases than not, this is a lot more difficult to remember because you don't use it all the time. So what you can do is called a factory reset. This wipes the phone, but at the same time it also wipes the password that's on here. So to do that, we have to turn off the phone first, so we're going to press and hold the power button here. Power off the device. Just wait for it to turn off. So, once it's turned off, there's a few buttons that we'll need to press at the same time here. First we have the home button, and then out of the volume buttons, we have the, up, the volume up button, as well as the power button. So what I'm going to do is Press and hold the home button, volume button, and the power button. You'll see that the startup screen start, uh, shows up. And when it shows this little Android here, you can let go of all three buttons. It's going to take a little bit of time here to just load everything up. So just like the, while we're waiting for this, just like the Note 5, I have really like the change of where the speaker is. It's on the bottom now. It's a lot better than what it was for previous phones where it was on the back here. So you can actually hear when you're, listen, you're watching a YouTube video or you're listening to some music. Okay, so now we're on what's called the recovery mode. This is what shows up when you press the three buttons to start up the phone. Now, you'll see you can't use your touch screen to select anything. And what we're looking for is factory reset right there. So to move around in this little menu here, you'll use the volume up and down button to go up or down and press the power button to select whatever you, you want to press. So we're going to go to factory reset here. So now that we have that selected, we're going to press the power button to select it. And then this next screen here will have a whole bunch of no's and one yes. This is just to make sure you don't accidentally uh, factory reset the phone. So we're going to go down to yes and press the power button to select it. You'll see that it's formatting. And after a few seconds, it will change to data wipe complete. Once that's done, we can reboot our system now. So we're going to just select the power button. And it's going to restart the phone. Now, when you when you restart the phone, it's going to take a while to load up once again. Uh, this is because the phone is essentially loading up as if it were just brand new from the box. Just give it a few seconds. I have noticed here that the bezel is not round like the Note 5 is. It's got a little edge right in the middle. Quite a neat detail. So when that's done, this is the screen you'll, you'll, you'll see. It's exactly like what it would be like if the phone was just brand new. So we're just going to skip a few steps here.
So just a note, this screen will actually tell you, you can set and use screen lock, uh, meaning there's no password on it now. But we're just gonna skip the step just, just to show you that there is no password on it. So I'm gonna skip. So now that we're finished the setup, you'll see that it will bring us back to the, to the home screen here. Notice the background, it's now the, the default setting for this phone. So we're going to press the lock screen here just to show you. Now if I unlock it, there's no more password here. We just need to swipe and we're good to go. So hopefully this helps some of you guys that are, perhaps you forgot your password, forgot your um, your PIN, so you can start using your phone again. Now just as another, just as a warning, when you do this factory reset, the phone is wiped. So your calls list, um, your messages, your photos, if it's saved onto the phone itself instead of an SD card, um, any apps that you might have installed they'll all be erased. Um, for your contacts, uh, depending on if you've synced it to your Google account or not, that might also be wiped. So just remember, if you're doing this method, you will lose, you, you will essentially get a phone that is brand new uh, from the box, um, which also includes the password or the pattern being removed. Hopefully that helps, and have a good day guys.